Hi there and welcome to this tutorial for Fastlane Digital Audio School done in Montpellier, France, an Ableton Certified Training Centre. Today we're going to talk about vocoding. Vocoding like I'm doing right there with Bjork's voice. So vocoding is a classic production technique used of course by the Daft Punks but by many other artists before that. So how does it work? We need two signals and we're going to combine different aspects of these signals. First of all we need a modulator, usually a voice, and we're going to use the volume movement, the dynamic movements, i.e. the amplitude envelopes of the voice and we're going to combine that with a chyre a synthesizer. We're going to use the texture, the harmonic series of the synthesizer, and we're going to use the pitch of the notes the synthesizer is playing. And we're going to combine these two aspects of these two signals to create a brand new signal. Let me just show you how it works. We're going to go and grab the vocoder in our audio effects tab. It's the last one on the list. We're going to drop it on the voice. So remember, the vocoder goes on to the modulator on the voice. Let's hear Bjork's voice without the vocoder first. Let's now create another MIDI track and load a synthesizer onto that track. It works best with rich, unfiltered sounds. Let's go to the synth lead, tensor lead in Ableton Live. It's a really rich, super soul sound like this. We're going to take the filter up and remove the movement on the filter to get an even brighter sound. Yeah like this. Now, the trick consists in actually muting that channel. We don't want to hear the synth straight from its channel, we want to hear it through the vocoder only. So now I can still play it, you can see the signal, but you can't hear it, and that's the trick. I'm going to go and move over to the vocoder, switch it on, and there we have four different modes, noise, external modulator, and pitch tracking. It's the external option you need to use if you want to reproduce the actual vocoding effect as we know it. Underneath now, in the chooser, you can choose that synthesizer, you just load it in, like so. I'm now going to play the synths, you can see I'm playing it, whilst I'm going to play the vocals. <laughs> And you can now hear the pitch of Bjork being changed by the notes I'm playing. Now we could do that live, but we can also do it in a MIDI clip. For instance, if I create two different notes here in a MIDI clip, and I play that, you're going to find that Bjork's voice is using this pitch. Not only the pitch, but also the texture, of course, the harmonic series of the synthesizer itself. Now, to properly vocal, to get the best result with this technique, you need to actually play exactly the notes the voice is singing. Not only the notes, but also exactly the motif, i.e. the rhythm the voice is doing. Now, we could do this straight with a controller and just play along and find the notes. However, that's the technique I wanted to show you. In live, you can right-click on a clip and use Convert Melody to New MIDI Track. This means Live will analyze the words and the pitch of the words, and it's going to now create a brand new MIDI clip containing exactly the information that we need to vocode. So I'm now going to take that clip and load it onto the track that has the synths I want to use. Let's hear the results. <laughs> Now you can hear the slight problems with this. I mean, the voice was actually well analyzed. I've got the exact notes. However, some notes may be missing. I know there's one missing here, one missing there. And also it's actually cutting the words a little too much for it to be working properly. So I'm gonna need to work a little bit on this MIDI clip and adapt it properly to what I'm hearing. Actually, I did that before. I'm gonna show it to you. Here it is, yeah? And now you can hear it. I'm reproducing the, exactly the words she's singing. Okay, now let's hear it as a vocoder. Not bad, hey? Now, you're going to always need to work a little bit 
on the vocoder itself to get the best result. But th this I'll let you discover what it does. Obviously, we got the uh, the band here, the, the filters. You can add filters, remove filters. But, you know, you're going to have to work a little bit on the vocoder to get the best result. It doesn't come out of the box straight away as it should be. Now, another trick I really wanted to show you is how to actually properly reproduce the rhythm of the voice within that MIDI clip we just extracted with the Convert Melody to New MIDI track. And that trick consists in bringing these two clips, the audio clip and the MIDI clip, into the arrangement view. That way, we can visualize both clips simultaneously in this view, and we can adjust the position of the MIDI notes. And look, we can actually see here if we're properly lined up with the voice, you see? right there. So that's a cool way, a really convenient way to really adjust the timing of the MIDI clip to match the timing of the audio clip. And that's it. Once you've done that, as I said, it works. What, what I did in this case, I actually took the, the MIDI clip and I raised it one semitone to slightly retune the voice to my track. So I can do that since I'm not moving the pitch that much, like just one semitone. It actually works perfectly well. That's it for us today. I hope you've enjoyed these little tricks and tips on Ableton Live and the vocoder. Speak soon on another tutorial for Fastlane. Bye.